first of all so many things have been discovered in the world have been invented by people but we must understand that they have been invented and discovered by human beings of all the problems and every occasions that are happening throughout the world they are mainly uh, controlled and regulated by human beings and human beings are regulated through their mind minds so we agree or not our mind plays a great role in and plays a great role in causing all the problems and all the solutions in the world if we are able to take the charge of our mind in our hands and become the master of that mind then we are able to we, we would be, have the handle to control where the train of our life goes and through the mind we will be not only be controlling our own lives we will be controlling our environment too because since the beginning of human civilizations that is all we have always done the moment we have mastered the fire we have become the king of all the species similarly when we shall master the mind then we will be the king of everything that exists because it is through the mind that we see it is through the mind that we perceive the world around us when we see something we actually the eyes work as windows we take the light it processes that in our brain so we actually perceive everything around us through our mind but we also must not forget that our mind and body are interconnected without the body there is no existence of mind at least at our level so if we don't take the proper care of our body the necessary uh, the necessary if we don't fulfill the necessary requirements of our body then our mind will always be in a hurry and in a fallacy so it is also important to take care of the body and the environment which we, in which we live in before all else meditation as i have said earlier in the context of sanatana dharma or in the context of existential science meditation is not as exactly as uh, it, it is taught nowadays as a yoga as exercise as a physical exercise as a mental uh, pressure it is not just that that is a part of it it is a, it is more of a psychophysical adjustment it is a psychophysical adjustment and a way of life it has several dimensions to it and it is a it is quite a normal process rather than something external being in, uh, input on us so for this let us look at the basic definition of meditation our master says to remain engaged in any single thought and to feel that which distracts but cannot break our continuity is dhyan or meditation that means when we remain engaged in a single thought that is an important word phrase a single thought when we are so much concentrated in a single thought in such a way that whatever comes in our way that whatever comes to distract us is not able to break our continuity that is meditation so as a process that is the uh, the basic of meditation so we to start with we need a thought our mind cannot be alive without the thought so we have to center around such a thought such a process of mental activity and with such a sense of attachment that whatever comes in the way is not able to detach me from that source of continuity mm -hmm.